All right, moving on to the next one. Let's go. Strength versus intelligence. I'm Daniel Cooper. I'm advanced game designer on Smite 2. Supported gods are going to have a few differences to them. We're looking to really change the characters that make sense for them. So we're not looking for change for the sake of change. We're looking for changes that either improve the quality of life or give them a cool gameplay niche that they didn't have before. So in some That's cases, good. characters are going to be pretty straightforward. Loki is mostly still a strength-based character. On her is still a strength-based character. But when you look at a character like Chalk, who does a lot of lightning-based abilities and he has a lot of physical-based attacks, we can do a lot of different strength and int scaling there. And so mm. we can do that to make it so that you have a more in-hand focused build with strength, a more ability focused build with your intelligence scaling, or we can also augment- I'm sorry, wait, hang on. We can do that to make it so that you have a more in-hand focused build Did she build hit with him with that? A more ability focused build with your intelligence scaling. No, she, or we can also she threw it on the creeps, okay. parts of the kit that we previously couldn't before. So again, using Chalk as an example, um, his heal is something that we didn't want to scale before because if it scaled off of your power, your physical power, it would just get stronger in addition to the amount of damage you're doing. So you're building both pinkiness and you're building damage. But now yeah. we have a little bit more control over it where we can give it more int scaling because we know that your int hands are going to be a little bit weaker off that. And so it's a whole different balance string we have. And we have a lot of characters like Bacchus that now when he chugs, he actually gets both types. His belly flop is a really powerful physical attack. The rest of his abilities are more int focused. And oh, this is new footage. That's using that new Ymir skin that's in the game right now. I think that's the Anubis skin too, or one of them. Because of that difference, we can no, actually amplify strengths based off what you build. So it's a little, it's a really cool tool that we have available to us now that we didn't before that makes characters very unique from each other as we build different types of items. Mm -hmm. So another example of a character that changes based off strength in it is Kernanos. Um, right now in Smite, he's a hunter, so all of his abilities scale off physical strength or physical power. Mm -hmm. um, but now we're going to make him so that he's more of this kind of hybrid hunter that can build strength. Holy shit, he just five shot that on her. Granted, it may be like a level 20 with no items, but still. Strength. This also scares me. Motherfucker's got haste and fatalis down here. Is that coming back for hunters? Or it. So if you go pure strength on Kernanos, not much changes. He still has his enhance that hit really hard. A lot of his things still scale off strength. Good, good, good. Um, but if you go int on him as well, it will actually start scaling different parts of his kit differently. So if you want your ult to hit really hard, you actually want to go int focus because it really, really amplifies the damage of the ultimate. Um, it also means that the summer damage, the one that does the extra on hit damage, you will actually take whichever of your stat is highest and use that and change the damage profile from physical to magical. Depending really? That's interesting. Depending on what strength or it you use and there's also things like his two where the initial projectile is very strength focused but the bramble field that appears that feels more magical so there so what, what he's what he's getting at there is then there will be some characters that it may be better to build uh like certain ways so granted like for shock that's obvious right you'll build a little bit of power a little bit of, or a little bit of strength a little bit of defense a little bit of intelligence because he he is very good at being a bruiser but he can still do all of them in this case kernos being a hunter you know your default is i'm just going to build as much damage as possible well now you're still doing that but you can complement the other abilities a little by building some intelligence granted in this particular case uh the damage from kernos's ultimate I think is kind of negligible. The damage from the the tick in his area is negligible. Um, so you probably will still build him that way, but that doesn't say anything about some of the other hunters. Uh, some of them could be very interesting in the future. That is something that scales up int. So if you want to do more wave clear, you want to go more int focused. If you want to do more single target damage with your Bramble Blast, that's going to be more strength focused. So that's an example of a character. That's something else with his stance switches. He, they on, he only mentioned the spring stance, which I think is the yellow one. So that makes me curious if like if you have a bit more intelligence, does that mean your heals heal for more? Or if you have more strength, do you shred more protections? That kind of stuff. Uh, if you have intelligence, does it mean that slow is stronger? 
after that. You can build either way or pull fully hybrid. But if you want to amplify specific parts, you buy that specific stat. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. We can't wait to see you guys Super on the Battleground. We have so many gods coming out. We have so many item changes. We're going to be really excited, and we're going to be watching really closely to see what you, what you guys come up with. And so really, yeah, once you get a chance to play it, we want you to There's no reason not we want to. have fun, and you want, we want you to break things. So we're just excited for that. Hey, if you want me to break things, give me access. <laughs> I'm literally learning how to do that right now. Please, let me break the game. <laughs> Please. <laughs> nah, I'll stop begging. Uh, still, I'm very excited. Um, they didn't really show too much off except for like a little bit of new footage. Um, but I don't think there was anything in here that um, stands out. There was more just m explaining this, the strength versus intelligence, for people that weren't aware of how it is going to work. People that know already know to an extent. Like, people that were playing the game back in the day when it wasn't split. So, it'll be interesting to see. I'm I'm excited, and I kind of hope they stick with this idea. I hope they stick with it, and they don't split off again like they did. So, we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, hopefully, uh, people start getting the alpha registration codes soon. I definitely hope I do. <laughs> Uh, but regardless, y'all take it easy. Hopefully you enjoy getting these two little videos up. I'm going to try and record a bit more while I have uh, effectively what is a bit of a day off from school. <laughs> Later, y'all.